lead is toxic. Even the smallest amounts. The, the EPA says there's no safe level of lead in a child's blood. Lead is a problem for children because it affects their developing brain, causing learning problems, um, speech problems, hearing problems. These can be irreversible. Since 1996, the Center for Environmental Health, or CEH, has been working to protect your families and your children from toxic chemicals. In California, we've worked with many companies to remove the toxic heavy metal lead from their products. As many of you know, lead can cause serious health problems if someone is exposed. Since children are most at risk, we focus our efforts on testing products that children play with, or in this case, play on. Some companies used to use pigments that contain lead to color their artificial turf green, just like lead used to be used in paint or other products. As some turf ages, it deteriorates and creates lead dust. When children touch the turf, this lead-containing dust gets on their hands. When they touch their mouths or eat or drink, the lead ends up inside their bodies and may cause health problems and learning problems. Since most children put their hands in their mouths often, this is a real problem. It's hard to be 100% sure whether artificial turf contains lead. Some companies took the lead out of their new turf products in 2003, and others phased lead out by 2008. They also contacted old customers in California and paid to have these older fields tested. These test results indicated that most older fields do not contain lead, but some of them do, and it's possible that some new imported turf may still contain lead. When I first heard that artificial turf could have lead, I was, I was shocked. It was something I thought would have been governed by a number of uh, laws and compliance pieces, and so it was quite a surprise to me. Children put their hands in their mouth, and they often eat with their hands, and this is the main route of lead exposure. There's definitely a lead that can get on their clothes from crawling on it and then them chewing on their clothes or anything where it could be uh, ingested into their bodies. The symptoms include things that we don't want a child to have. We don't want fussiness or stomach ache or headache or nausea or slow learning or um, you know developmental problems or delinquency or aggressive behaviors or ADH. These are all things that are associated with leg toxicity. That's why it's important to follow these guidelines to reduce lead exposure if you or your children are eating or playing on older turf. If you are a high school or college athlete who plays sports on older turf, these suggestions will also help protect you from lead exposure. The guidelines will also help reduce your exposure to germs and chemicals if you play on natural fields. After children play on lead-containing turf, it's important to instruct the children to wash their hands or to wash their hands for them. And parents may also want to have the children remove the clothes they were playing in and throw them in the washer and put on a new set after they come in. What we did with the children was to minimize any crawling, eating, or drinking on the artificial turf. Our children wash their hands very frequently anyways, but uh, it became a part of our routine once they were finished playing outside to definitely wash their hands. And if they can just do a good and thorough hand washing, that will protect them from putting any lead into their mouth when they eat or put their hands in their mouth. When I first found out about the threat in our artificial turf, I decided to be very proactive. Uh, CEH made it very easy and convenient to do our testing. We sent our test in and within a week we found out the results and unfortunately we did have lead in our turf. I'm still informing our child care providers to uh, contact CEH for screening of their synthetic turf for lead. I mean, the fact that it's a free service, you know, it's just, it's always better to have more information than less information. And if, it's always better to definitively say, we do not expose children to these hazards. And so, uh, testing is always the best thing to do. If any school is out there contemplating whether to get their artificial turf tested or not, I would highly recommend it. The artificial turf companies were very friendly and very willing to help us replace our artificial turf. Their goal is to provide a safe and clean environment for the children to play on, and with CEH's help, we were able to have our whole artificial turf replaced. We really do want children to be safe where they're playing. The safety of our children is our primary concern. This is a toxic material that's in our environment, but we don't have to suffer the consequences of exposure. And there you have it. Remember to wash your hands once you come in from playing on artificial turf. Parents, make sure you wash your kids' clothes when they return home. Administrators, be sure to observe proper turf maintenance practices. And as always, if you are unsure if your turf has lead, just send a few blades to CEH and we'll screen it for you for free. Play safe, everyone, and feel free to contact CEH with any questions. Thanks for watching.